Hey, what's up guys? Got a very interesting video for you today. We're gonna to be testing the effects of Helium on the newest Apple iPhones. So there was this whole fiasco on the internet a little while ago where a Reddit user worked in a hospital and there was a Helium leak in an MRI machine and it caused a lot of iPhones, namely the iPhone 8 around their series to go ahead and just flat out die, just shut off and then in a few days they would turn on again. So in this video, let's see uh, what effects that has on the newest phones, some of the older ones and maybe some Android phones. In a nutshell, shell, what happens is the helium is interacting with the oscillator in the phone that tells the time. Now on older iPhones, they use crystal oscillators. On the new ones, they use MEMS, which is a microelectronic, microelectronic mechanical chip. It's basically a more efficient way to tell uh, time instead of oscillations on a crystal. It takes up less space in the iPhone, but it's a known issue that they are susceptible to helium. So um, we have this rig set up with just regular uh, balloon inflating machines, some helium. We're gonna stick some iPhones in here and see what happens once we start uh, dowsing them in helium. So I'm gonna start with the iPhone XR series. We'll throw the iPhone 8 series in here. And we got a brand new iPhone XS Max here. And as far as I know, the iPhone 6 and 6S series use crystal oscillators. The 7 and above, I believe, is the cutoff where they started using the new MEMS. And the 10S Max goes in here, 512 gigabytes. Not gonna drown uh, anything less in helium. But the issue arose with an iPhone 8 series, so that one we know for sure uh, does work. It's been tested on YouTube already several times. I just wanna see does it work on the newest ones and on Android phones as well. So, okay, gonna seal these up. Got some helium going straight to the bottoms here. As far as I can tell, um, not trying to obstruct the ports in any way except the lightning jack sitting on the ground, but should still work. Yeah, we have a exhaust port, so all the regular air gets displaced. Once uh, we do fill it up, then we're gonna seal that up. All right, should be good. I don't know how much I should fill in here actually. That's a good amount. I'm gonna seal this up and eject some more in there. We try to seal it up uh, as well as we could. It's not completely airtight. All right, so from what I've seen a few minutes in, these phones are supposed to die, literally by air. Nothing's gonna happen to them. They're just gonna shut off and we'll see which one lasts the longest here. And I'm just wondering, can this be used to abuse the system? Can someone place their iPhone in a vat like this, have it shut off and not work at all, and then go and get a replacement for free or something? As far as I know, this leaves no lasting harm. The phone should turn on within the next 48 hours with no effects at all. Imagine the amount of helium they'd have to have in that room where the phone itself turns off like that. All right, so five minutes in, uh, I guess we can get a perfect vacuum seal here going. So I'm gonna remove this. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, round two, we got it sealed. Here we go. You can tell it's pressurized. It's pushing the, the cap up every time. Pressurized helium in there. Oh, there we go. Eight just turned off um, for no reason. All the other ones are still working. So only the eights, just like in the original post, turned off here. The 10S and 10R seems to be impervious to this. Although I'll give it some more time. And that was only a minute in. 10R, 10S, working fine. No issues here. Check this bad boy out. So this was fully charged a second ago. Let's we'll see if we can force reset it. Yeah, nothing is working, that's crazy. This thing is completely dead, just like that. So imagine you take this into the Apple store, you don't know what's going on, of course they're gonna replace it. They won't know what this is. I feel like that could be abused for sure. I'm gonna stick that tube inside. <laughs> Let's see what happens. I feel it coming out of the speakers. Oh, look at that. The screen is bending in and out. Well, if that doesn't freaking <laughs> make helium course through it, then I don't know what else. That's so funny. Can you see it? Yeah. That did, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's so funny literally removes the screen. Cut 
this down to like five minutes. Yep. Oh. Oh, shoot. I take that back. So the iPhone 8 series just died. That's crazy. It looks like to be just an iPhone 8 issue. And I didn't try the 7, but I'm sure it'll work on that one as well. Okay, so look at that. The uh, battery is still providing power to my glowing LED logo, but the phone itself is just dead. Wow. So this thing is technically still alive, but you wouldn't know it. There's no way to tell. And this one, the only way I can tell is with this Apple logo. So home button not responsive, power button not responsive. I'll try and force reset it. Yeah, there's no response from the phone whatsoever. This one took about three, four minutes. But same thing as this iPhone 8, they're both dead now. That's crazy. So yeah, keep your iPhone 8 away from helium. They're allergic to it. This video basically does confirm, yes, helium is bad for your iPhone. And whoa, just completely shut off. So keep it away from helium if you can. I could certainly see this being abused at the Apple store uh, to get a replacement or something because for the next 24 to 48 hours, this phone will not work, but it's supposed to turn on with no lasting effects. We'll definitely see about that. But anyways, guys, I had a lot of fun making this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Looks like the newer iPhones and the older ones are completely immune to this. The galaxies are immune. The iPhone 6S, I believe, still uses the crystal oscillator, and the newer iPhones are too sealed or have some sort of change that make them immune to this. iPad, no issue here. Still sitting in this for like 10, 15 minutes. Kind of cool. So yeah, guys, had a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace.